So you love, it's always sunny, you love Brooklyn Nine Nine, you love Trailer Park Boys, you, you, you're looking for an easy comedy show to watch, you're looking for a, a comedy show that does not demand a lot from you in terms of emotions or just ecologically, then Tires is the story for you. Tires is a very simple story. I, I think it's, a, it's created by Shane Gillis, who is also a star in this movie. And it basically, <laughs> here's the premise of the story. So there is, this guy is the manager of the store. He's called, not the store, a garage. This guy is called Willis, so he's managing the, 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 the garage. The garage is owned by his dad. And so one day he made a mistake of buying a huge amount of tires. And so he doesn't know what to do with them. And so throughout this season, they're trying to keep that garage going. They're trying to keep the garage alive. They're trying to avoid... There are different cases for each episode. And there are different uh, themes that they tackle or strategies that they tackle in each episode on how to keep this particular garage al alive. So the story is very basic. So you have Willis, Will, who is the manager, and then you have Shane, who is his cousin and who works for th this particular garage. And throughout the season, it's just Shane just trying to make fun of Will. Every opportunity he tries to make, he is like, you know, that cousin who will not let you out of the hook, you know. He, he'll always try to make fun of you. He'll always bug you. He'll always just try to put you on the edge, but not in a bad way, in a very friendly way, in a humorous way. There is always trying to gaslight Will. Every opportunity that, that he gets. So basically, that's the gist of the show. Yeah. Now, you have a lot of other colorful characters you have Andrew Schluz, you have uh, other characters that I, uh, I I've seen before, but I've not seen them in a lot of other different productions. But generally, you have also within that very many colorful characters, very very interesting characters that you can actually just pop up, just that pop up and just make everything interesting. There is one particular episode whereby they have this context uh, contest of trying to upset people. And then you have all these people come to the garage because they are offering fuel, uh, fuel uh, oil change for $9.99. And, and then you have all these people who want it cheap coming in. And so you see all these various personalities coming in. And they just, th th this show just has that grounded comedy about it that reminds me of It's Always Sunny, but without the extreme absurdity. You know, it, it has that thing of, they present scenarios that may feel familiar, but they try to maintain a certain level of humor that makes this an easy watch. So, this automatically is a 4.5 out of, uh, this is a 4 out of 5. It's pretty enjoyable. It does not require a lot of emotional investment. It does not uh, require a lot of psychological investment. It's definitely one of those shows that I would highly, it's, it's one of the best shows on Netflix, apart from the staple, uh, the, the, the staple show. This is one of those shows that I would highly, highly, highly recommend. So basically that's it. And, and, and it's, it's again, it's doing what Netflix doesn't usually do, which for me came as a surprise, which is they have an old guy dude, white middle-aged dudes uh, just being dudes in a show. Naturally, you'd expect a show like this to be all girls or you'll have a droplet of um, representation, but they don't have that here. This is just middle-aged dudes just doing what they do, which is repair cars and make a lot of ridiculous jokes at each other. And it somehow works. And for me, that was strange, especially on Netflix. You know how Netflix are. If you've consumed anything from Netflix, you know how they treat their, 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 their products. And here is a good thing. It has been reduced for season two because it's actually a very, very, it's a very, very enjoyable show. Outside all, you know, everything else, it's just one of those enjoyable shows yeah basically that's it see you on the next review which is i'm looking at um the terminator movies i'm looking at mechanical movies you know i watched atlas and i noted something and i was like wait i like this you know out of all the movies there's just one part that they presented i was like i like this and then i sat back and i thought to myself what have i seen in other movies that involves robots and cyborgs it's so cool and no one talks about and so I eventually decided to come up with seven scenes that you've seen in cyborg and action movies that no one is actually talking about it and i'm just about to do the video and if i'm done with the video it should be here